Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to this Humanitum channel. In this video, I discuss difference between osteoblast, osteocyte and osteoclast. The shape of the bone cell. This is osteoblast. Shape cubital to low columnar. This is the osteocyte within the bone matrix. This is oval shaped cell with many cytoplasmic process. This is osteoclast, a large irregular giant cell with many nuclei. The cytoplasm of the osteoblast and osteocyte is basophilic, uh, means cytoplasm look bluish. The cytoplasm of the osteoblast is more bluish than the cytoplasm of osteocyte. This is the osteoclast. The cytoplasm of the osteoclast is acidophilic, so color is red to pink. Nucleus of the osteoblast. Nucleus is round in shape and contain rich euchromatin are more than the heterochromatin because osteoblast is the active cell and euchromatin means active DNA. The osteocytes is developed from the osteoblast. It is the inactive form of the osteoblast. So, its nucleus is elongated um, and rich in heterochromatin. Heterochromatin means inactive DNA. The single osteoclast may contain 5 to 50 nucleus. The location of the bone cell. In the peristrium and androsterium, the osteoblast is located, the osteocyte located within the bone matrix. Um, this is the bone matrix and there is a depressed area within the bone matrix. This is called the lacunae and within the lacunae, the cell body of the osteocyte is present and there is a also radiating manner, canaliculi are present which radiate from the lacunae and canaliculi of the bone matrix contain processes of the osteocyte. Osteoclast is found also the surfaces of the body like osteoblast and it is present within the house shape lacunae. The osteoblast contain more rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex and you know the osteocyte is developed from the osteoblast. This is the inactive form of the osteoblast. So, it contain less organelle, less rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi complex. The osteoclast contain many mitochondria and also the lysosome. The development of the bone cell. Osteoblast and osteocyte development is displayed here. This is the mesenchymal cell. From the mesenchymal cell, osteoprogenitor cell is developed, and from the osteoprogenitor cell, pro osteoblast, then develop mature osteoblast. And from mature osteoblast, osteocyte is formed. This diagram shows the development of the osteoclast. This is the hemopoietic stem cell. From hemopoietic stem cell, osteoclast precursor cell is formed and the mononucleated osteoclast is fused with each other and form the multinucleated osteoclast. And this picture showing bone resorbing function of the osteoclast. Now the function of the osteoblast. Osteoblasts are responsible for the synthesis of the organic component of the bone matrix, type 1 collagen, proteoglycans, glycoproteins, deposition of the inorganic component of the bones. The osteocyte maintain the bone matrix and date of this osteocyte is followed by the resorption of the bone matrix. The function of the osteoclast, 
bone remodeling by the bone resorption. This is the part of the Habersian system. This is the Habersian canal. You know the canal of the Habersian system is lined by the osteoprogenitor cell and osteoblast. This is the osteoclast. Osteoclast resorb the bone and form a cutting cone and this is the closing cone of the Habersian system. Here the osteoprogenitor cell is converted into the osteoblast and osteoblast is start to form new bone formation and some of the osteoblast is um, entered within the bone matrix to maintain the bone matrix and became osteocyte. So these are the function of the bone cell. So this is all about the difference between uh, different cells of the bone. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel and please share this video if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.